What is up everybody? My name is Justin. This is Forever Self-Employed. In today's video, we are going to be talking about do you need chemicals in order to clean a driveway? I get asked this question all the time on the channel, so in this video, we are going to be answering it. But before I get into that, if you guys are interested in starting a pressure washing business or scaling it up to the next level, check out the first link in the comment section and the description. It is going to be a link to our pressure washing business course, the number one selling pressure washing business course in the world. This thing has been an absolute game changer for a ton of guys. So if you're interested in starting or scaling, check out the first link in the comment section and the description but with that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump into the video. So do we need chemicals in order to clean a driveway? Short answer to this question is no. Uh, so if you guys have watched any of my videos on the channel, you will see that I actually never use chemicals. And that might be one of the reasons why I get this question so much. So I don't use chemicals before I clean it. I don't use chemicals after I clean it. Um, I basically don't use chemicals at all. So this is just one of my personal preferences. I don't really like using chemicals, so I try to limit my exposure to them. However, if you're willing to use them, you can actually make the job much, much faster. So first, let's go ahead and talk about what chemicals you would be using um, in order to clean it. So basically, when we wash anything, when we wash houses, roofs, any surface with organic matter, we are going to be using a combination of sodium hypochlorite, a surfactant of some sort to help it stick and then have that mixture diluted down into water. Um, now the ratio for these is typically dependent on what the surface is, how bad the surface is. However, when applying it to concrete, you can go with a really strong mixture because you're not gonna damage the concrete. Now that we got that out of the way, let's kind of talk about when you would be applying it to the concrete. So some guys prefer to do a pre-treatment, which just means we're gonna put chemical down and then we're gonna wash the driveway. Some prefer a post-treatment, which just means that we're gonna treat it after we've washed it and some people like to do both however you do need to keep in mind that these chemicals do cost money and you are incurring more cost so you're going to be losing some of your profits um, on the job however you might make up in time what the cost of the chemicals are so basically if you guys want to apply chemicals play around with the ratio apply before apply after see what works best for you see what does the best job cleaning um, and then you're ready to go now if you don't want to apply chemicals like me um, I have a formula that I follow in order to ensure that the driveway comes out as clean as possible. So I typically can't get it cleaned on one pass. So what I do instead is I cross hit it. So if I first hit the driveway vertically, I will come back and hit it again horizontally. Like I said, this does take a lot more time, but when I'm done, it comes out super, super clean. And if you guys want to go back and check out some of my other videos, no chemicals used. All I did was cross hit. I used to just hit it vertically and then I would finish the job and I would take a look at it and I would see lines in the concrete. It just wasn't getting clean enough hitting it from one direction. So that's when I started cross hitting it. Now when you cross hit, if you hit the first time vertically and then you come back hit it horizontally, you don't need to go as slow on the second pass because you've already taken up a majority of that organic matter. The only reason why I do this is just because it cleans it a bit more thoroughly and it takes away those lines. So first I'll wash it vertically, then I'll wash it horizontally. But if you guys want to skip that and you want to clean it faster just do a pre-treatment or post-treatment using the chemicals that we discussed earlier in the video so i hope that answers your guys's question you do not need chemicals in order to uh, wash concrete however it will make it faster if you guys made it this far in the video please comment down below driveway and i'll hashtag you a real one as well as leave any pressure washing questions that you guys have down below and i'll make a video answering them but that's the video if you guys liked it hit that thumbs up button subscribe to the channel my name is justin this is forever self-employed and until next time hustle hard and get that money, baby. Peace.